Hey everybody, my name is Kendall Moore. Welcome back for another video of Humankind. We're gonna continue this series. In the last video, we didn't do too much. I mean, we attached uh, our city to our out our first outpost, and uh, by doing so, we uh, created a whole lot more industry, money, and science for overall for the city itself. But aside from that, we didn't do too much. Uh, there's not a whole lot that we guy we can do really we uh, we did research a granary which is good it helped us out with uh, the influence per turn and now all we got to do i guess is it's just wait it out really uh we just got to wait it out a little bit and wait for our researches to be done all that good stuff so we're gonna get out of that really quick i'm gonna end the turn already so yeah we don't have too much going on uh just the basics We've got, we're making some money, a little bit. We're making some influence, quite a lot. Uh, I, I'm just here hoping that we do get to the uh, next era before anybody else. Uh, first things first, we are going to keep moving with these armies. All the uh, little armies that I've got, I'm going to use them. I'm probably going to split them up into parts of two, to be honest. Just so they can actually, you know, function a little bit better. So you got this guy. Uh, we just uncovered some stuff, some resources and all, so that's uh, good for us, some more money. Uh, we are going to split these forces in two. I don't, I don't think we need to, uh, to have them all together at once. I think uh, that's a bit overkill. So right there, oh, hold on. I want both of them right here. Get uh, these guys right here. There we go. Split them up. All right, there we go. So I split them up, boys. So... They can't move any further because they've already been split out. But the other ones, which is my original character, the original scout. Uh, we are going to go ahead and send them over towards that direction. So while this guy is going to help out uh, uncover this land, he's going to help out in the south. So these guys are going to go towards the south a little bit further. So uh, we're going to move down there. And we're going to explore the south a little bit further, boys. Just make sure that uh, everything's fine on that end. Uh, we're at turn 42 already, so let's keep moving uh, towards that place right here. There we go, just like that. We're going to keep trying to uncover as much land as possible, really. Uh, we've got this unit right here. So now this unit is going to uncover the east a little bit, boys. We're going to make him uncover the east. Oh, we got already right on point something there. Calendar researched. Really good. That gave us uh, enough research to get the calendar, so... Now there, there are living and permanent settlements. Villagers want to track changes in the seasons and organize plants of crops. Of course. So now we've got a natural seasoning, boys, happening. Uh, seasons and stuff. So we can get the granary. And we can get artisan squatter and stuff. So giving us more stuff. Uh, more things. And the other guy that we had. I guess we're going to attack this unit right here. Why not? Now it's going to be a tough one. A tough battle. But uh, I think we can do it uh, if I do it properly. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to move him right here. Deploy him right here. He's all alone, but I think he should be able to attack. Boom. There we go. So we can flank them. Obviously, that would be the best option to flank them. But now he's, he's, uh, he's attacking us front hand. Yeah. So that's definitely worse for us if he attacks us front hand. But, you know, we got to try our best right here. So if we try all, uh, and flank him... That would be better, but we'll just do, do that right here. And he, the second he attacks us, he's going to kill himself, basically. So, yeah, we got him right here. So he dealt a lot of damage to us, but uh, we managed to get him. And now we got that 20 gold, boys. So, 78 gold, 74 of influence. Really good. We got all of that. Uh, for the rest, we do have to look for a new research. So, city defense, irrigation, writing, will... Uh, city defense, all of that good stuff. They're telling me to go for wheel, but uh, I think we should keep going for the things that uh, they want us to go for uh, first, right? So get ourselves some warriors and uh, city defense, I think would be the best option right now, at least. Uh, we could, uh, can we get an influence going? Uh, can we attach each other to that? No, we need 160 yeah, uh, of influence in order to do that. So we can't do that just yet. Uh, still another six turns for the edge drawing to be done. We can start actually working on the granary right away if we wanted to. Uh, we can't work on the animal barns just because we don't have any horses, uh, horse resources. But 
uh, I mean, it would be really good to just keep working on that qua those quarters, though. I think that would be the best option. So I'm going to keep upgrading my money. I need 342 to upgrade that. So I'm going to keep I'm going to keep the money I got, boys. It's going to be become very important along the way. I'm going to try and find a way to gain as much money as possible, really. I think that's going to be uh, the currency is going to be very important in this game. Seems like if you want to buy or resources. Uh, your um, construction buildings faster and stuff. So this guy move him towards there, I guess. One thing at a time, one place at a time. And uh, we do have some territories right here. We're uncovering more places. You are going towards the south, so you're gonna keep uh, moving down, right here. It's not a whole lot we can do with him just yet, I guess. This pretty much uncovered all the lands that was on the south already. Uh, for him. Keep moving towards the north, so you're gonna keep going there. Now remember, these guys are all scouts. They're not warrior. We're gonna get our first warrior unit eventually, as soon as we're done working with that. So that's the whole situation right here. We don't have anything going on that could be of uh, big value for us right now. We don't have a warrior that can really protect us that much. This outpost, I don't know what I can really do with it. I mean. Look at the amount of influence I need in order for it to become a city. It's quite a lot, boys. It really is a lot. And um, I don't think it's it's going to take a long time for it to, to have anything. In two turns, we're going to have a, another populace. So another guy uh, for the population and stuff. So at least that's, that's good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. We're going to have another population. Now this guy right here. It's still in the seven turns, but I still want this place to be my next city. Uh, I feel like it would be very good, even though a, a city right here would be good as well. You know, it takes too much to for us to have an outpost and build up our influence. Building up our influence take a, takes a long time, boy. So we uh, we got to be vigilant, vigilant a little bit more about that. So let's uh, with, with this army, let's go towards there. We're gonna obviously encounter the mammoth right here eventually. There we go, right here. We are gonna attack him. There we go, and we should be all right. We should survive. Instant resolution. It's a defeat. All right, never mind. We died. That's great. All right. Well, we lost that one. That's not good. So we lost another scout. I've got like four scouts remaining right here. Not good at all. Uh, let's keep it moving right here. There we go. Down south. Uh, or down east. It doesn't seem like the... Well, we got some stuff. But these uh, unknown strategic resources, we don't know anything about those. So we got to go all the way around, it seems like. Right here, we're going to have to follow the uh, the sea or the river a little bit before going there. And for you, buddy, you're going to go over there. Keep moving. Uh, there's some mountains right here pre preventing us from going on that direction. Eventually, we'll probably be able to move somewhere else. All right, so all of this is done. We're not uncovering a lot of resource, to be honest, uh, right now. It looks like uh, it's pretty calm and quiet. Not a whole lot uh, to do. So three, three more turns for that to be done. We do have a population of two right now. And one of them is focusing on the industry. Now, I can choose them. I can tell them to... Uh, I can put them on somewhere else. I can literally drop them into the money or the science. Uh, industry, I don't want you to focus on industry. I want you to uh, I want you to, to, to work on money. There we go. Money. Big time. So there it is, boys. So you can automatically tell them to go for something in particular. This is why I'm tell, uh, telling them to go for city growth. But because we do have somebody for the food. But we also have now somebody working for the money. So now we're getting a lot of money. 10 uh, plus 10 and plus 11 of influence. So that's really good. Now we're really getting up there, boys. I need that money to be able to quickly research or quickly build stuff, you know. So that's uh, done. We're going to go ahead and... Then yeah, we got to go all the way around here. Can I not? Okay, I guess I got to go all the way around. So I'll do that. Plus there's a resource as well right here waiting for me. Uh, on, the, on the edge right there. Uh, this guy right here. Gonna keep it moving, boys. I hope you are enjoying this series. By the way, I am enjoying this game quite a lot uh, myself. Uh, it's a really good game. Just takes a time, some time, obviously, to get used to it. 
uh, used to how to work with it and stuff. Look at that though. They're building another one right here. So they're expanding uh, on their uh, front end as well. So I got to get that resource before they get there. I wonder why it's telling me that I can only go for two cities in total. I wonder why it's telling me that. Maybe it has something to do with the era that I'm in. Why is she so mad at me right now? We're still kinship, so we're still very friendly to each other. My war support, boys, is literally all the way up. Population wants me to pretty much be at war with them right now. But I, I don't want that. All I want is for them to, you know, give me my stuff. So give me, uh, give me my things. So grievances. I got grievances. You attack me. Give me eventually. Once you get the money, give it to me. All right. And we're going to be fine. I want to import. I, wanna, I don't want to export, boys. That would be a bad thing. Was alliance or demand pending? So my demand is still pending, by the way. So we're still asking them to do that. They're, we're still in the we're waiting after them to give us their answer and stuff. So it's, it's going to take a long time. We're slowly getting there in terms of influence and money. But it's still going to take some time. Two more turns for this to be done. And then afterwards, we're going to get more production done, boys. So that's really good on our front hand. Uh, after that, I guess now we gotta just keep moving our armies. So you, you're gonna keep moving, uh, keep moving there. I think that's yeah, that's where the the, the thing end. was. So we got the Nubians, boys, renowned for commerce and stuff. So we got uh, another neighbor that we've uncovered. I kind of want to be friendly, to be honest, with everybody. Uh, I really want to be friendly as, with as many people as I can uh, right now. So we're gonna interact with them in due time. Right now, though, I do want to uh, work on these things. So, there I go. Get more uh, more of those. Uh, can we ransack? Oh, yes. Well, I, I do want to ransack the uh, the sanctuary right here. So, go. we're going to go here. And we're going to ransack it. So, let's do that. Ransack this whole thing, boys. This sanctuary right here. Let's ransack it. So, we can get more resources out of it. And uh, next up. So, we do have... Uh, a chance of an opportunity to interact with these guys right here. I'm kind of, I'm very friendly with these guys. So let's see what we can do with these ones, these neighbors. All right, so this guy seems a bit more hostile than the other one. Bit more hostile, boys. So he's tolerating me. War support on each side is very high, to be honest. Wow, it's very high. Yeah. Okay. Uh, treaties, we don't have any crisis. Trades. Uh, treaties. Let's see. Uh, trade only. Let's go ahead and share our map information or open borders. Well, let's get first off. Let's get the trade luxuries. All right. Let's get it done. And they accept it right away. There we go. Right away, boys. Now we're gonna do trade everything right away. Uh, it's gonna take some influence, and we're gonna have to wait another five turns for that. Okay, maybe I won't do that just yet. Share maps, open borders. We're going to do open borders. Propose. Uh, sure, I'll pay you. I'll pay you for that. There we go. G gave him four, uh, 40 gold, boys. 40 gold is a lot, though. But it's it's worth it for the open borders. And uh, for the shared maps. Propose. And another 40 gold. All right, let's give him the other 40 gold, I guess. That's a lot. That's 80 gold right there, gone. So we got that done. We got uh, all of that. And uh, do, they, do they want a non-aggression pack? Let's uh, try. All right, so I can't uh, can't go for the non-aggression pack. I don't have enough money. I would have in the next turn, my guess. So, you know, I can't right now, though. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I'm sorry about that one, boy, buddy, but uh, I, I just can't right now. So uh, we're good right now. We're at peace for both of them. You can see who they're at peace with. They know of them as well. So uh, that's pretty good. So right now we've got a uh, trade luxury thing. Uh, we got nothing else going on. So uh, I still got to interact with them, I guess. There we go. So that's done. So they're pretty friendly uh, for now. Uh, we've got a lot of influence from that, boys, just from interacting with them. So that's really, uh, really good. Gaining uh, as much influence as possible. Rent sacks to sec uh, successful. Really good. One more turn for the quarters to be done. After that, we're going to be fine. Uh, how many, how much do we need for that to be attached? We need 160. So another turn, boys, and we're going to be able to attach uh, this place to this city. 
And the city is going to be super strong, like high strength right there once it's done. Uh, I kind of want to keep it limited for the city. So I think uh, having a second city all the way out there with the horse resources would be the best thing. Uh, let's keep moving uh, towards that direction, I guess. Right here. We're going to go towards that uh, location right there. It's giving me a, a, bo a, a something that I can get. Uh, for you, right here, it looks like uh, there's an elephant we can uh, go after. So we're definitely going to attack it, boys. We're going to go into that manual uh, battle because an elephant is very strong. So we want to make sure that uh, we are uh, we do know what we're doing. And uh, yeah, I think that's a good deployment. That's a good deployment as it is. Looks like the elephant went straight after me right away. So we're going to go after him. And for you, uh, I guess we're going to go... We're going to move him, flank him. So we're flanking him, boys. And there we go. So we're attacking him right away. Boom, just like that. So it, the, the elephants are very strong. So that's why you got to be careful. You don't want to do anything too crazy. Uh, they're very dangerous, but there we go. So 20 gold, just like that, that uh, we gained. So we gained back our money, basically, almost. So that is done. That's uh, completely done. And uh, now uh, we are doing a really good job right now of surviving. As you can see, uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got to wait the uh, next turn for, the, for all, everything else to be done. So let's do that. And we got our city defense research as well done. So we with the advent of permanent settlements through natural turns to security and defense, the earliest innovations are simple but, in but effective. There we go. So we got garrisons. Palisades boys and warriors so we can build warrior units right now. So that's uh, really good kind of want to get one I kind of want to get a warrior unit Just to be sure just in case you know, and I do need it to protect my scouts to be honest So that would be great by the same time, you know having a garrison having all of this now the garrison would give me stability and district fortification But stability I'm fine. I'm doing really good in stability. So I don't need that per se you can see my industry is at 26 now. Um, I kind of want to... Well, that would be minus one population, though. I want to... Uh, I can't afford a warrior right now. So as soon as I get another populace, I'll do that. But right now, I want to wor keep working on my city itself. So uh, a granary or palisades. Palisades uh, would be great, to be honest. for uh, Just to have that, to protect ourselves. But... I think having a granary, because uh, having food is even more important, boys. Look at the amount of money I need. 1,200. Holy shit. I need 1,200 money for, uh, for that, boy. So, probably going to have to wait the entire 16 turns. Uh, so, now we got carpentry that we can do. Irrigation, bronze working uh, would give us the ability to go after the copper, which would be very good, because we do have copper right here. Uh, carpentry would give us clear forests. I mean, we can go, uh, we can get archers for that. So that would be great. Lumber yards as well for industries. Uh, I guess I'm gonna pick carpentry, boys. It's the closest one. It's the one that's gonna take the less amount of time to do, anyways. So we might as well do that one. Uh, plus, we got, as you can see, we got copper right here. I definitely wanted to get the resources, but you know, it's it's not that important. We're gonna attach that outpost together. Boom, that is done. And now we even got more resources. Look at that. So 11 food of GAN, uh, 35 of industry, 11 of money, 5 of science. So uh, we are really growing big time right now. So all of this is attached together, boys. This is all one big city right here. It's all my tiles right there. And uh, that's a really good science stars. Obtained four technologies. So that's a, a, a new star. So... That's my main objective. I got to research four technologies right now, which uh, that's uh, can definitely be done. I can quickly, probably quickly research this. I don't think I can quickly research like technologies and stuff. So that's not an option. You are going to continue to go on that uh, on that direction, I guess. Yeah, continue to move there right here. Eventually, we're going to be able to go towards that direction. We also uh, we want to go somewhere so where do we want to go with this guy and keep keep going south i guess so yeah we're gonna have to jump make a little bit of a jump right here moving from tiles to tiles different places there we go we got all sorts of different resources 
right here. What is that? Saffron? Vagrant Spice? Okay, so these are dyes, uh, basically. I can't use any of those because I don't know anything about the, like, these resources and all. But that's, uh, I guess that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and keep moving these units right here. I I'm going to move them right there and get that resource. Whatever that is. So, Lake Healer discovered. Plus 30 of science. Really good. And we've got some gold out of this as well. Uh, that's fantastic. And we are starting to uncover a new land. Look at that. Ha lake Heliers. That's the one. Look at a beautiful lake though. It's like pink. It's a pink uh, lake. I like that. This is, uh, this is a place I could go into probably, right? Or maybe not. I can't. I still don't know how to embark. Okay, I still gotta embark in order to go there. Eventually, we'll be able to uncover like this new continent. We know it exists. We just can't get there yet. So let's get let's get moving, boys. What's over there? What's waiting for us over there? I wonder. It's gotta be something special, right? And for an outpost, how many? Uh, yeah, I need four hundred and sixty uh, of influence for different outposts, boys. So oh, yeah, that's. Gonna take quite a while. I got over 112 uh, 12 gold. So I've got a lot of gold, but I still need... I would still need 900 gold to quickly research that. So that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Um, for the rest, let me see diplomatically wise. If I can't do anything w else with them, I can. I can interact with them further. So I, I want to see. So trades... I want to see, uh, trade everything with them. So propose. Hail Boom. Friend. They're going to definitely accept. So with that, we can trade a bunch of stuff with them. So I, I'm not sure how that's supposed to work exactly. But uh, we'll see. Non-aggression pack. I really want a non-aggression pack. So propose. I'm going to propose a military. Uh, yeah, military that. And uh, I'll give you the money. There we go. Sure. Give you the money and we now have a non-aggression pack with these guys which is very good so uh we're definitely going to be super friendly with them now that we got non-aggression pack that is done and now we can probably propose an alliance that would be a, a good thing to do let's try and propose an alliance with them sounds like a good deal well there we go boys so we got an alliance there we go so they accepted we are now allied with them boys so that is fantastic so now we got different types of treaties uh, that we can do because we are allied with them. We can uh, custom unions. So the buyer is acquitted for any non-essential fees when accessing this empire's resource. The service still gains the same amount of money. Uh, that's kind of cool. Scientific agreement plus five science on empire. Oh, that's kind of cool. Cultural agreement as well. That's like plus five percent. That's really good. Shared logistics. So units can be upgraded while within each to other territories. Uh, that would be very good indeed. So that just means I can literally upgrade or heal my units if I'm in the territory. So I'm going to propose that. Okay, so I got a grievance against them. The Nubians refused their treaty. Okay, that's fine, I guess. They don't want that. Well, what about uh, what about no. custom union, though? Uh, well, they're not going to accept that, though. Okay, so relations. We're still allied. Uh, we got a treaty proposal refused. I'm going to renounce that. What if what happens if I renounce that? Uh, the grievance will expire, so refuse the treaty. Uh, sign military treaty with the... Uh, uh, well, I'm going to renounce. I'm going to renounce that. Yeah, let's be bygones, be bygones. We don't need to be for, uh, enemies. There we go. We don't need to be enemies about that. Uh, or, like, we don't need to be uh, super mad about that or anything. So we are allied with them. Which is fantastic. I, I need to do that again. There we go. Uh, what about these guys really quick? Uh, that girl. So I, I don't know if I can actually be military allied to their, her. I can't do anything with her right now. I still am asking for that. I'm not going to change my, ma in my mind on that one. But uh, my girl. You attacked me. Like come on. Now at some point. You got to be able to, uh, to give me the, the 200 gold. Come on my girl. All right, well, in the meantime, let's just go ahead and skip. We're already in the 50 turns, boys. All right, so turn 51. Let's see what we got. So another nine turns for this. We got 93 gold. So I'm very happy that we got our first alliances. Uh, they refused for us to be able to upgrade our units or heal our units into their territories. I guess that's fine. 
In the meanwhile, I'm just gonna keep exploring, I guess, uh, while they uh, they do their they do their own thing. And we oh we do have something right there. There we go, a resource, f uh, science and culture or influence. Once, once again, boys, even more of that. And our other units, two uh, two units. I can't send them right there, so uh, I'm guessing it goes all the way around here. It looks like it goes all the way around there. So let's move them. And we're going to keep exploring right here. We're going to keep doing that. Uh, we've got four more turns for that turn. Uh, for for our next research to be completed. Over here in the city. We're still doing pretty good. Yeah, we're still doing uh, pretty fine as it is. Stability is uh, super good. Six tur more turns for population to go up. It takes a little bit more time than I would wanted it to. But uh, I guess it's fine. Uh, and uh, for the next part, I think we are good. We don't have too much going on. Maybe I can skip for another turn. One more turn again, boys. There's not a whole lot going on right now. All right, so next turn. Let's uh, let's see what we got uh, against us right now. Do we have anything? Oh, we do have this right here waiting for us. Just waiting for us right here. And uh, we do have this guy. So this guy, we're going to move him. All the way over there, boys. We're going to see what we can do with him. Uncover more lands. Seems like this might be going all the way there. We don't even need to uh, go across the sea. So we got some more horse resources, but that's pretty far away from us. Uh, I think I really want to settle there. Eventually, I really want to get someone there and settle the city, uh, a second city right here. That's definitely what I want to do eventually. I'm going to need all the influence I've got uh, because otherwise it's never going to happen, you know. So uh, that's a pretty much that. Is there anything else we can do with you, buddy? Any other treaties? Yes, we can interact with you again. So custom unions, how about that? Are you interested in that? Uh, surely you are. We are allied, but they don't want to do any treaties per particularly, particular treaties. I don't know why. Don't know why they wouldn't want like a custom union. The buyer is acquitted from any non-essential fees. I don't know why they wouldn't want a union or something. That's kind of crazy. I, I don't know what's going on here. Why are they refusing this all the time? But uh, it's quite interesting, to be honest. All right, then. Well, if they keep refusing, they keep refusing. One more turn, boys. I just want to keep going. I love playing this game so much. I mean, I just got to keep moving. Look at that confrontation right here. Looks like they battled out right here. So I'm going to keep moving right here. I'm going to go into that. Boom. There we go. And we do have a ransacking option right here. We got a resource and we're going to get right here. We're going to ransack this place. Boom. And get that's going to give us 22 gold. Just for doing that. That's really good. Our money is going all the way up. And uh, for the next part, it's this guy right here. We do have a battle incoming. Uh, which I do want to do. So we're going to do that battle. A lot, a lot of elephants actually right here. Lots of elephants. Let's do instant uh, resolution. Just like that, we got 20 gold. Our units are really... Like, they're veterans, but they're really... They really need to heal up right now. We're going to leave it right here, boys, for now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.